Every pro player can agree that there are two major things they need to be successful in Fortnite, and it's why you need to pay close attention to this video. In order to improve your mechanics and game sense, you need to be practicing and learning new things a lot. However, you can easily improve faster and have the upper edge on your opponents with these secret tips that we're about to talk about today. What's going on, guys? You already know who this is, man. This is your motivation guy, the captain of the Bunch of Currents Army, Keith Allen. And today, we're going to show you the best advanced tips and tricks to improve your mechanical skills skill and game sense. So pay close attention and definitely note these down as we're going to show you guys some of the best tips and tricks that you've never heard of before. Let me ask you this. What is one trick that you recently learned that you never saw before? Let us know in the comments down below and we're definitely going to check it out. All right, here we go. All right, guys, so to start the video off, we have a really overpowered trick off spawn trick for team modes. Now that trios is staying for all of 2021, you need to use this trick to always survive off spawn and have the best loot possible. You know, high gliding is a trick that works 100% of the time in tournaments and arena and just requires you to pull your glider early near your drop spot. High gliding always allows you to scout the area around you and land at an uncontested spot. However, this works best with specific split drops and, you know, are near big POI. So we recommend learning a split drop. So to avoid confusion, we're going to use the damn split as an example. So when you're using the high gliding strategy over the damn split, everybody in your team needs to be aware of your surroundings. And so the reason high gliding is such a good strategy is because it allows you to land at an uncontested POI instead of just having to fight out of spawn and risk dying. So in this case, guys, the damn split allows your trio to scout weeping woods, slurpy swamps, misty meadows, and lazy lakes. In the rare case of every POI being contested, you're always going to have the damn split to land at. In tournaments, one POI is almost always uncontested, and we found that Lazy Lakes is the most commonly uncontested POI near the split. So one person in your trio needs to glide towards the actual dam, one needs to go to the small buildings aligned with the bridge, and one needs to land at the spire. Since all three players will be high gliding far from each other, they can look at all four POIs and will be able to call out which POI is uncontested. Just make sure that your trio has all their view distance on Epic so it's easier to see players gliding from far away. Also, don't limit the high gliding strategy to the dam split as there are many other split drops that you can use this strategy with. Alright, for example, you can split the spire close to Believer Beach and the Bony Burbs bridge for duos. You have all the loot in the area and a double slurp truck to use. Make sure that you practice your new split drop with a high gliding strategy and don't be afraid to just glide for too long and get too far from your trio. You can always glide over weeping woods and still make it back to the dam, just make sure that you're always watching your surroundings. Alright, so to win all of your spawn fights and really become smarter at your job spot, you need to practice and analyze your job spot over and over again. And so by putting in a lot of work into scrimming and practicing the same drop spot, you're going to find a lot of strategies to really outplay your opponents and know things like loot spawns and ways to disengage. For example, EU pro player Pink completely outsmarted Benji Fishy during the FNCS All-Stars with this 200 IQ trick. Pink practiced fighting at his drop spot so much that he learned how to counter the turret by going into a perfect position that blocked the turret's shots. If Pink hadn't practiced his drop spot, he would have definitely lost his fight to Benji, especially since he was just a pickaxe away from dying. Along with studying your drop spot guys and finding strategies like Pink's, like you also need to have the best drops for it. And so the easiest way of having the best drop possible every single time is by using a drop map. So drop maps are maps created by other players that show them exactly how and where to glide you know, to land exactly where they want to. Drop maps are really hard to find for each and every drop spot, so we recommend making one yourself and sharing it with your trio if you would like to. You know, the easiest way of making a drop map for your spot is just by using Copilot, a drop calculator that shows you where to jump glide and land for every bus route in every location. And so you can just have this website up while playing the game, but we really recommend making a drop map instead. If you want pro one-on-one -on -one coaching from the top pros, go to ProGuys.com and sign up today using code rank up 2021 for 20% off. They are designed to train you in every area and according to your pace, highly recommend it. Okay, so now that you know the best tips and tricks to always survive off spawn and always leave with legendary loot, you need to use these in-game tips for mastering launch pad use. A huge part of perfecting your game sense is knowing how to use launch pads to reposition yourself. You know, a great technique that many of you need to use is short padding. Short padding allows you to glide lower and only really requires you to place a ramp above your launch pad. And so whenever you short pad, you don't have to worry about getting beamed. 
Also, you can face the opposite direction of where you want to go in short pad, which will make your glide duration even shorter. Along with short padding, you can also cancel the glider animation entirely and literally go flying in the air without having to pull your glider. This is called the launch pad cancel and is only useful when you're at a high elevation. You should always use the launch pad cancel if you need to disengage from an elevated build fight. Rotating to the next zone if you're on the high ground or like even landing on a player that is below you. And so canceling the ladder animation gives you a lot of room to work with when you're falling and you can literally land right on top of a player and pump them in the face. So to set up a cancel launch pad guys, just place a ramp above your head again and a floor in front of it. And so this will bounce you right off the top and will send you falling down without taking any fall damage. Okay, so to improve your mechanics and game sense, you need to put in the time, all right? You know, every pro player puts in over six hours into making sure they never miss a shot and win as efficiently as they can. And so, you know, they're always learning from their mistakes. So to start off, you need to be spending time in creative maps and perfecting your aim. You know, a missed shot will cost a pro player thousands of dollars and will lose you many, many fights. And so we really recommend using different creative maps to train your aim, such as Skabat's Aim Trainer and Raider 464's Aim Trainer. I always say this on my Instagram when you connect with me at your motivation guy. So definitely check that out. Both of these maps help a lot with tracking and flicking, reaction time, and even have 1v1 aim duels and glider tracking. To improve your building and edits, we also recommend playing the Skabak Peace Control Map, the official FNCS high tier map, and any edit course that you prefer. And so we recommend spending at least 90 minutes playing all of these maps to see maximum improvement. You know, improving your mechanics may seem very straightforward for you guys, but the game sense part is where many of you guys honestly really struggle. You know, game sense comes with the experience and practice. And so the best way to improve at this is by playing a lot of scrims. You know, after warming up, use all your time to scrim instead of just wasting time playing zone wars and 1v1. The easiest way to scrim and actually improve is by playing ladders and Discord servers like open scrims and KNG scrims. Ladders resemble actual tournaments and are usually a series of six games with leaderboards. Unfortunately, console players aren't able to track their points, but they can still participate. All right, so also, if you like to improve faster, check out this insane practice routine made by us. You know, the most important competitive play that you need to master and know how to pull off in any scenario is a hype play. Every single team that wins tournaments consistently always goes for hype and is never scared to fight for it. So start off by going in the back of your tarp and looking up at hype. The high ground team is most likely going to be staying ahead and just focusing on the team that is on second hype. And so you can easily start ramping up through the side. This strategy works very well if you have white heels such as floppers or small fries, but it can still work without heels as long as you hug the edge of zone. So when a player on the height team, you know, is separated, get behind them and just go for a pump play. Instantly just start cranking after you hit them and just tell your trio to start cranking. You know, when it's a 2v3, your trio can easily keep the high ground over them, especially after the other team starts panicking. And so in stack lobbies, the height team is going to be constantly spraying and will most likely not be able to hear you sneaking behind them. So make sure that you use this strategy to always have height. All right, guys, the next strategy to get height is easier, but will not work if the other height team is aware of you. And so when going for height, you need to stay ahead of everyone else and make sure that you're in a spot where you can gain elevation quickly. For example, I right, never go for a hype play in a congested spot as it can definitely get you guys killed easily, right? And so wait for the zone to open up and fully tarp ahead. Once you're ahead of every other team, look up at height and just go for a beam on one of the players. Wait for the other team to stop expanding towards you and instantly start cranking. And so once you're above the other team, spray them off your lair and make sure that they can't chop you out or connect to you. Okay guys, so remember to practice your new split drop when using this strategy and just stay at a high elevation. Hover over POIs and look for an uncontested one and make sure that your trio is aware of being contested at this split as well. Okay, so to win your drop spot, you need to spend a lot of time learning every nook and cranny of it. Use all your resources to land faster and find loot paths. Launch padding is really useful in stack games and you need to use them before using your mats. Use short pads and cancel your pads if you need to. Practice correctly by spending enough time in creative mats for aim and mechanics mechanics, okay? Start scrimming a lot and just figure out your drop spot and stack games. Taking height is just very important to consistently win games. Always look at height and position yourself to confuse the other height team, okay? All right, guys, so we hope you found this video useful and learned a lot of new tips and strategies to win your games. You know, mechanics and game sense take a lot of practice to master, and so we hope this video helps you guys out in your journey to success. All right, make sure to practice everything that we mentioned and spend time implementing these strategies into your gameplay, 
And I'm telling you, you can do it. Once again, this is your motivation guy, Keith Allen. Connect to me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. Man, I always know this, that I believe in you. You know, keep going no matter what negativity and opposition is in your life. If you can just believe, if you can stay consistent, if you can stay thinking positive, I'm telling you, you will achieve your dreams, okay? The desires of your heart will come into fruition if you continue to go forward and not give up. You can do it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.